Hi everyone, how are you doing? After the aftermath of our independence celebration, a lot has been happening in town and guess what? Oh, we are already 13 years down the road so we are not getting younger anymore. Now, a lot has been happening in the areas and I want to give it to the area boys. Aulatila, Olegina Dumo Nashmunu Nas Aulatila. And when you look into some of the things that have been happening on the 8th of, um, of the Independence Eve, a lot happened in the area when you look at High Sora, all the decoration and the people dancing and lighting candles. I mean, that was amazing. And we also got that side of a PT oil. A lot has happened. The area boys came on the streets. They, they put in a lot of design. There was lighting. There was really nice sound system. A lot of uh, revolutionary songs being played. And the youth came through. I give it to you. This was like one of the best. Now, with that being said, if you're also watching me from the States, I know you people had a blast too on uh, this independent celebration. And I want to give you an update on what has been happening with the artists, especially um, we all know there have been a lot of shows going on, a lot of advertisements, so the shows happen. And I'll start with the big one. MT7, of course, when I say MT7, MT7 is like a powerhouse and um, he's one of the big names in the industry. And he had a show at Freedom Hall. Hmm. It was amazing you guys because it was a life ban. Imagine MT7 is a dancehall artist. Eh? He took his time and really like prepared for this show. So he really performed all his songs on live band and a uh, few people were there. Of course, there are people who are also part of the show, the likes of Lady Cola, the likes of uh, Kim Swag, Mapia Wan, Duna Destai and other um, artists who are also part of the show. And he did well. When he performed this song, Never This Me, eh, Never, hey, you guys, mm, he really gave it his best. Like, you know, it's not easy to sing on a live band. I mean, how many of you can sing on a live band? But MT7, I give it to you. And the highlight of that show was the, the, uh, the presence of the Honorable Minister of uh, Interior, that is Mama Angelina Ten. I think that was a very good gesture to also see the government people coming through for young people's events. Like um, for the artists, it means a lot. And it also gives in uh, a very good sign that the government also love what the artists are doing. That way you are supporting the artists. That shouldn't be the end. That should be the beginning that we also want to see other uh, honorables, uh, honorable ministers attending the shows uh, in the country uh, so we can um, support our artists. So, um, Hard Life Avenue Stars performed at Kens uh, Kensburg. Yes, they performed at Kensburg. They pull a crowd. And you know, Hard Life Avenue always give their best and people had fun. We get to talk about Single D. You know, a lot has been happening with Single D, but his show life in Cairo was amazing. Despite all that, guys, like, you know, I just aside let me give you what i can the the balang the focus and all other songs we all know single d is one of the talented artists in the country he gave it his best and uh, they, he pulled out a crowd and the show was lit trust me it was amazing and the south sudanese were in cairo had the best of the independent celebration and luri motors yeah hello everyone people who went to luri <laughs> I saw videos, I was jealous of you guys, but trust me, you guys had the best. It was like there was a show, of which there was no show, there was only a DJ, and so many people pulled out. And there were surprise, surprising performances. The likes of Lady Cola jumped on stage, just giving the best, you know. Yeah, she got it, she can always give you. And uh, that was one of the best um, that also happened. Juna Desta had a performance at uh, Oscar launch. Yes, you know, Juna Desta can always pull the crowd and give it her best. And um, as we all got a few comments from the people from the states, they said this has been one of the peaceful independent celebrations in the country and we should continue that way. And lastly, Ali Joma also had a show in Kampala, Uganda. Of course, we know Ali Joma, eh? the happiness guy. He always gives it in. He always like give it his best. So those are some of the things that happen of um, the independent celebration. And I know as a young country, the question is back to you and me. We all have a responsibility to play. We do not have to blame someone. What has been your contribution to the country now that we are 13 years down the road? For more of this, always tune into the soundtrack show every Monday to Friday.